Whenever hey, y'all, this is D'Angelo, and you're watching Disney Channel. Aha. All right, now I'm ready to start. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get that out of my system. <laughs> All right. Um, Did you forget? I'm, to I'm trying to like, remember the intro. All right. Hey, y'all, this is uh, the So Anyways podcast. Uh, my name is D'Angelo. I'm one of the co-hosts here. To the left of me is... Camille, how you doing? And then in front of you, you got Max here. Oh, yeah, we're sitting in a triangle. Unfortunately, the boy, Big Baker, couldn't be here. You know, he has some stuff. Yeah, he got he's got by Big Milk. <sighs> we lo- oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, we said he wouldn't be back, so now he's not back. We're true to our word on this podcast. <laughs> mm-hmm. Him, but, no, for, for real, though, he, he'll be back in a couple episodes. We're not sure yeah. when, um, but he will be back soon, hopefully. Shout out that boy, though. Jamie, our fact checker. We don't oh, have damn. Jamie no hey, bro. We're gonna say so much bullshit in this <laughs> podcast. It's about to be insane. This podcast is now straight lies. <laughs> 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 I don't give a fuck if I say something wrong. So guys, I went it to the matter. Moon. Oh really? Oh dude, it's hey, completely made out of cheese. I would, I would not believe you, but I mean, I mean Jamie's not here. Yeah, you have Jamie's to not here you. anymore. So fuck it. We okay. have free reign. Free reign. <laughs> So anybody got anything uh, prepared? Anybody I've, got some? I'm on actually their chest? curious about what you thought. Uh, what your opinions are on like crypt? I think it's cryptics is what they're called. Crypt- oh. Cryptids. Crypt- like cryptids? the animals that aren't real. Yeah, like yeah, n- yeah. Uh, Nessie, oh. Bigfoot. I thought, were, I thought you were like fucking up cryptocurrency. Yo, high key. And <laughs> that's, a, that's a discussion <laughs> for a different day. Hey, look, Bitcoin is right next to the Sasquatch on me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either real or it's not. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I've never seen either one, so it's all up in the air. You know, I just think. Uh, I think most of it's a publicity stunt, but then there might be a few that are, like, legit. Like, for example, the Bigfoot stuff, I think is a publicity stunt. I think those are just people trying to, you know, get get famous quick, earn a little bit of cash, and get forgotten about. What about the uh, the Mothman one? The what? How the Mothman? Okay, you the here's Mothman? here's, a, here's, a, here's my question on that. How the fuck do you explain that? <laughs> like, So the, 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 the whole story behind Mothman is that it's a... It's a it's a figure a humanoid figure that's about like probably around half your height. D. Like how tall man. are you? My big ass height. Yeah. Six five. Okay, maybe not six five. I was but like about six to say, foot. But, no but like six a foot. A man that is six five is flapping yeah, six his foot, arms around. Six his foot. Six uh, foot. Humanoid man with huge moth wings and uh, red eyes. And the it, whole the whole story behind it is that Mothman like comes to you to like he revolves around death, I guess, yeah. so to speak. And there's a city somewhere in the Midwest. I think it's the Midwest. Um, that has a statue dedicated to Mothman where the most quote unquote oh, sightings. Wait, isn't it in Virginia? It might be in Virginia. That is not the that's Midwest. That, that might, that's not the Midwest at all. But I don't know which city it's in. I mean, somewhere in the U.S. for sure. Somewhere in the U.S. Um, but I don't know. I saw that one day. Shit's kind of scary, man. Hey, I think you know, it's dead just ass? a kite. Like you said, the only thing that we know but is it's that happened, it's big but like and it's th- got red eyes. No, the thing is, is like I actually watched a whole ass documentary about the Mothman. Of course. Like in did. History Channel. There's like. Me in, like, elementary school, okay? And I still remember this shit because of the creepy-ass red eyes, though. But, um, yeah, no, this has been, like, science has been going on for, like, years. Mm-hmm. Like, like almost generations. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, centuries. Imagine, you know? like, the I think first, it, imagine the first episode of the, the revived Doctor Who series where it's that one guy. Okay, hold on. I have to imagine that because I don't, I don't know what that is. All right, I'm, it, it's imagined. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, there's an episode in Doctor Who where it's, like, this this regular civilian in the series, unimportant, an NPC, I guess you could say. Ah. Mm. Um, he's, like, he comes to one of the main characters, the Doctor's companion, and be like, have you seen this man? He's in every point in history. And, like, he told this family, they were supposed to go into the Titanic, but uh, they met this guy, and this guy suddenly told them not to go into the Titanic, and then they lived, and then... It's basically imagine that scenario, but in real life, that's the Mothman. Mothman is always surrounded by death. So and, like, he saves not people. only flies; he tells you when you're gonna die. He protects uh, you from when you're gonna die. Here's here here's my thing: I if a, a giant, six foot LeBron sized motherfucker with some wings and some red eyes comes to me and says, "Hey, don't do this. You're gonna die." Hey, bud, you wasted your time. I'm dead right now. The second I saw a <laughs> flying, a this, flying cobra, this is my hell. Like, bro, yeah, like this is it. This is how the this is how the gypsy woman told me I was gonna die. It's too late for me. The second I see them glowing red eyes in the sky, I'm checking out, boo. Okay, well then, what about uh, like the Loch Ness monster? Oh, easy, bro. The water, anything in water, it's all real. All of it. Have you seen how deep the ocean is? We don't. It's we know there. more about the moon. No, we know more about space than we do our ocean. 
That's so true. Let's keep it right that now. way. I keep it that way. I, Honestly, no, I want to know what's on what our planet. What the fuck's in our no, water? No, 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 no. Cancel the ocean. Cancel it. Cancel the ocean. How the Get fuck you cancel, Bro, cancel the ocean? Cancel the ocean. Twitter will find a way. K-pop, <laughs> K-pop Twitter will find a way. K-pop Twitter. <laughs> the water said the N-word. <laughs> cancel it. The ocean said the N-word. Can we also talk about how... <laughs> That god, <laughs> bro, them little waves and shit. <laughs> just constantly saying the word and just like you oh. and hate. Oh my goodness! <laughs> just constant racial slurs to anyone. Um, oh, I was gonna say, can we talk about how fucking huge those waves get out in the ocean? Like dog, I rogue can't even waves. Have you heard of that shit? I've never seen how big waves get, but I can imagine they're towering. Bro, no, rogue waves are the worst, and they're real. The rogue waves. That's right? the worst like part rogue about one. them, That's a dude, good movie. is that they're real. Yeah, the rogue waves would only be kind of bad if they were fake. <laughs> you know, <laughs> these motherfuckers are real. <laughs> and no, they're like hundred foot something waves oh, that fuck. just come in and just swallow fucking ships. Like, like a, wait, so what's the difference between a rogue wave and a tsunami? Su- tsunami. Uh, tsunami's tsunami? inland. Rogue wave is in the ocean. So we're fine. Oh, no, listen, listen, listen. Well, Road waves, Houston, that's the ocean's business. It's our fault for being out there when the ocean's just trying to hit that rogue wave thing. We wouldn't even know about it if we weren't out there not minding our fucking business. Cancel the ocean. <laughs> okay, but, like, what about, like, you know, when, you, when like, the seasonal foods come in, like crabs, crawfish, shrimp, and all that? We can't cancel Boy, that. Boy, hold on. Mm, damn. People are going to have to. Lives will be lost, and that is a sacrifice Lives we are will willing be to lost make. <laughs> for my popcorn shrimp. Yo, popcorn shrimp. Do you go crawfish for boys? Oh, boy. Um, mm. I'll have to think about that one because I'm not sure. At the end of the day, I'm ri- the I'm ocean's racist. It up. At the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Have y'all, ever, have y'all ever been so hungry where you guys start, like, imagining, like, the letters of, like, whatever the restaurant name is to be whatever you want it to be? What? Bro, okay, huh. no, let, let me explain, <laughs> Wait, right? Let me explain. <laughs> I'm so, changed, so you, are you saying, like, have we ever imagined? So, what like, it was? it's, like, close to what you want. So, like, let's say you want to eat at a deli, right? And there's a desi, right? And I've you're like, oh. at any point in my life been like, damn, you know what, you know what would hit? A deli. Bro, pastrami <laughs> sandwiches, no, pastr- dog? Delis no, do go because hard. because you're a 40-year-old New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard. I've never myself. Damn, and I've never you gotta, you gotta come to, to the delis that we go to because you're gonna be. Mm, I refuse to say if, in my life before forty. Damn, I could go for. A you, know Jersey, you know what, You know what, Jersey right Mike's is. Jersey Dog. Mike's is the subway of delis. It's, it's true. Of, no, oh, Jersey so Mike's like is basically deli. a deli. It's a shitty deli, but Jersey Mike's is good. Jersey but compared Mike's to like good. delis, shout out Jersey Mike, bro. Shout yeah. out Jamie. Oh yeah, for sure. Shout out Jamie. <laughs> oh, but by the way, okay, so this is why I say this, right? It's because I really want to go eat at a deli. All right, there's okay. a desi. That's your first problem. Hey, <laughs> hey, I pastrami sandwiches, dog. I you are missing I, the fuck out, dude. You are missing out. So I'm trying to like look for a uh, a deli, right? So I'm driving, right? And so there's a desi. Apparently, a desi is like a, an Indian restaurant, uh, as far as I know. So. <laughs> Jimmy, it, oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, in, in my mind, right? I'm looking at Desi, but at the same time in my mind, I'm reading, oh, yeah, that's a deli, all right. But, oh, you're not, okay, see, the way you said it before, I was like, yeah. is this man imagining food in the no, world? No, 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 <laughs> no. no you, like see, you see the sign of the restaurant, right? But you're so hungry, you just, you just assume you, what you the read, restaurant is. You read what you want, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's a deli. And then you go inside, like, let's say, you, like, let, what if I went inside that deli restaurant? Or Desi, what the fuck? Side of that Desi restaurant, right? I just go in there and I'm like, yeah, hey, can I get a pastrami sandwich? And they're like, and they look at uh, you with just the uh, utmost hate. They're like, who the fuck? <laughs> is no, not this? even that. Who bro, do you think you most, are? Uh, at least the Desi restaurant that I saw was vegetarian, so they would have just looked at me like, Excuse if you me. don't get this falafel <laughs> and get the fuck out of here, man, I'm not playing with your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> they would have been like, so we do not sell meat here, and I'd bro. be like, uh, what? What do you mean? I just want a pastrami sandwich. No, nah, bro, you, you, you should have like you looked gotta, around and like. And, and just caught the vibe. Like, they, they, they probably known, have, like, different you posters. You know, I've known you shit. for a while, and I could confidently say that you simp for sandwiches, for deli sandwiches. I, no, the only food Every I was, other no, day, no, no, you're no, getting no. a deli sandwich. I, I, I will simp for healthy. a pastrami sandwich. Give sandwich? Me a, sandwich. Give the me a good pastrami only, sandwich, bro. The only person I know who... <sighs> so I've never heard... Bro, the amount of times I've heard the words pastrami sandwich <laughs> in my life... It only just, comes from you, Mill. They just tripled today. <laughs> <laughs> the only times I hear is from you, Mill. I hey, never hear from anyone it's else. It's called y'all. Yeah, hey, yo, hi, Kido. Like, swear to God, I actually made my own pastrami before. Shit was fire as fuck. Isn't it just 
What is pastrami? Mm. I know it's it's meat, it's, it's, uh, like it's beef uh, peppered uh, with some shit. Uh, man, I forgot the ingredient to be honest. But you you uh, we slow cooked ours for fucking hours, like I think almost. So for it's a whole just last day. shitty barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker, take you just, that back. You just insulted this man to his very core. You, I mean, the, I, I, well, the old the, the old Puerto Rican inside this man just died a little the bit. The old 40 year old white man. Yeah, the old 40 year old. He's about That's to come out his loafers and just whoop your ass. That's hilarious. The inner, yeah, the inner New Yorker is just Cummins inside of you. Oh, oh yeah. For um, sure. our old pause. <laughs> that, that, that was our theater director, Mr. Cummins. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Cummins. He's wherever he is, he's w- he's he's woodworking now, right? Oh yeah, no, he's enjoying his retirement, man. He's like, fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> he spoke the truth, though. Yeah, he did speak yeah. the truth. Dog, like, any teacher that doesn't say fuck them kids at the end of the day, I can't trust them. Like, if you come out of your teaching job and just be like, that was great, I'm like, bro, nah, something's something's, so, up. something's wrong. You got a crayon halfway up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we gotta talk because something else is going on. <laughs> No way. Look, like, I mean, you know, shout out all teachers, bro. They deserve better, especially for what they be going through, man. Like, and I mean, like, no, no, no. I believe ever... that they do love their job, but they don't love them kids. Nah, them man. kids, nah. All right, so listen, have y'all ever been in a class? Because this has happened to me at least three times where, like, either the whole class or just one of the kids made the teacher cry. Oh, yes, dude, we did that. Times. Yes, like multiple every, times. Every single person. Mostly in middle school for in, like, Oh, yeah, in, like, no, and that was the American so school system. Has seen has seen their their teacher cry, for for me and Yamil, it, uh, oh, the middle school that we went to, bro, so often, so it, many people, bro, so bro. Often. <laughs> and, and not even gonna lie to you, I was one of the problems. Oh my goodness, of course. The thing at we our got middle school, fired. that too, yes. Oh, wait, so no, we got two did. teachers fired. Wait, wait, we got wait, one in wait, elementary wait. school and one in the middle both school. of you got two teachers fired. I mean, well, we say I we assisted, as in, okay, but in reality, oh another gentleman, uh, the mad lad, actually got. The uh, substitute teacher fired because the teacher kind of blew up and like shoved him, and the man went super extreme about super it. Super saying God. Oh, mode. Yeah. <laughs> and so what happened was he pushed the my my friend right, and then he overreacted hard, and then guess what happened? Everyone told the principal. Everyone fucking was on the side of. And that was my when Snapchat. Buddy. I think did Snapchat first come out then? I think possibly at that time. Either way, it was on social media. It was definitely on Facebook. Oh boy, definitely, bro. bro. And uh, yeah, you got fired. Oh, and then he, she, he was the uh, husband of like one of the administrators of the school. Double <laughs> Wait, oh boy, he was the, the, the yeah yeah the old white dude. Yeah, he, was like, he the husband? Oh man, it was uh, one of the administrators for our school. It was like a very a very nice old lady, by the way. Just her husband got was this just nice super old mean. lady's husband fired. Hey, but Absolutely. he wasn't nice. He was he, not. He nice. was an asshole, bro. He was just trying to spend more time with his wife. And y'all put this man in the situation to where he was like, damn, I got to put hands on this child. <laughs> like, bro, you know you know how, how far you have to take it for this man to be in the same building where his well, wife has worked for X amount of years and just be like, all right, well, it's time for me to whoop this kid. <laughs> I know that, that this will put the hardest strain on my marriage ever, but fuck it. Here we go. Here, let, let me give you like an idea of like what we did to this guy. It was like... St- like, just random, just beyond stupid shit where the teacher was like, are you serious? One time, he put me out. So, we were in theater class. He was subbing for that class. And he put me outside. So, he was like, all right, I'm going to separate you from the group. You're going to sit in the corner. And I was like, oh, okay, all right, fuck, right? So, the teacher goes back kid. to the desk, right? I turned my fucking chair on. He said, don't get up from the chair. So, I took that ass. Cool. I can move you as long as I can sit oh, in the no. chair. So I started rowing the chair around the you fucking know, class. You know, if you weren't trying to become a, a pilot, I could see you be c- trying to become a lawyer and trying to loophole systems, oh, loophole dude, rules. Oh, dude, for sure. This man said, this is like, hey, he said, he me. said just yeah. uh, not and to hey, get hey, up. The best part was he's like, I told you not to get out of the chair. And I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, word, don't move. And I'll be like, hmm. we were not specific. Oh, this is motherfucker. Sick. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> sick. Uh, All right, so y'all, I actually had something that um, it was one of those things that just popped into my head. It was like a an unlocked memory, basically, mm-hmm. and I wanted to bring it to the table because I'm older now. You know, I have I have I have You've grown her money. Like I didn't have grown money back then, but I I have like a real job now and all that. So I just sometimes I look back and I'm like, why did I spend my light money on this? I had such little money. So I was in Austin one time. I might have been fourteen, fifteen. And I went with this, like, big group of people. I think it was, like, a, maybe I was, like, 12 or 13 because it was, like, a church trip or something like that. And they just, like, took us to Austin. 
We went to uh, museum tours and all time. I don't know. I think it was my first time in Austin. And as we were walking back from whatever restaurant that, w- that we had eaten at, um, there was this lady, a real nice looking lady, a very homely, motherly looking woman, like just on the sidewalk walking around with this sign that said professional hugs for $2. And you paid for it. Listen, man. I had <laughs> to know. Bro, son listen, of a bitch. Bro, listen. You're not going to pass up this opportunity. Profession, like, where but was did you the, train? Was it, was, it, was it worth it? Let me tell you, I bought three. <laughs> <laughs> I bought three of them oh, hugs. Oh, no. I hugged that lady, hey, and man, I, sometimes, felt, sometimes I felt a, better. A, a motherly hug is all, all someone needs. No, I Honestly, haven't felt she affection was, in years. She was undercharging them hoes, because them hoes, yeah. Did you cry? I, I tried to, you know, <laughs> but then on the other hand, the I was effect. like, I was like, it's only like 2 p.m. You know, I got to, I got to I hold imagine, that down. like, I was like, man, this, this, this little kid's really trying to get some, yo, you okay, fam? Man, and it wasn't <laughs> even like a sexual or like a weird thing, because like, that was the first thing she said, like, hey, look, this ain't no sexual or weird thing, and I was like, oh, oh, for sure, this is on the level. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I paid her $6, and I like stressed a little bit, and I was like, all right, bring it in. She hugged me, and I was just like, bro. Bro, this is this is fantastic, <laughs> <laughs> and I would do it again. I think for me, the dumbest thing that I've ever bought with, would you say grown money or growner money? Like, like I mean, just money in general. In general. Like, yeah. I would do it again. So like, it doesn't really matter about the grown. You would part. do it again. I do it again, bro. If I if how much would I pay for a hug? Y'all bro, don't want to know. Received a hug in years, and I'm, I'm chilling, bro. I'm, I mean, okay, look, think about it. Right, you get hugs all the time for free from like friends, family. People, you know, whatever. You know. But if you yeah. got a well, I'm filled with a whole bunch hug. of testosterone dudes. So. <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Like my work environment is just filled with testosterone-filled fucking men, where it's just like that we don't like hug a, here. Yeah, no, Ever since like he started steroids, hug. he just never got a hug. I don't deserve or it. His arms, are, his, his shoulders are too big for hugs. <laughs> his arms don't curl that way. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, no. I forgot. This is what he said in the car. He doesn't do steroids. He does steroids light. Oh, diet no. steroids. Diet steroids. No. <laughs> steroids zero. <laughs> what, what, is it, what is it actually called? Uh, SARMs. Steroids. Ah, motherfucker. SARMs. Swole ass arms. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> wait. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. How much would I pay for a hug? Too much. That's it. That's I'm, an, uh, I'm kind of on the same boat as you. Honestly. I mean, man. Like, okay. I'm too stingy with money. Professional, bro. And, like, she wouldn't tell me why I was professional. She kept saying, hey, you got to find out. And I was like, damn. I'm so. <laughs> um, I was very much sold. <laughs> I think about that lady. What sometimes. a salesman! <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I honestly don't know what was my dumbest purchase. Uh, see, I'm just really stingy with money. So and he's a 40 year old white man. You don't make dumb purchases. Well, dumb purchases are part of life. What about impulse buys? Have you I, again, like there's gotta listen, be at least listen, an impulse buy. You gotta remember, my family that literally pendant that you're wearing is an impulse buy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not oh, an no, impulse no, no. buy. Oh, no, no, no. This was definitely thought about. For the Hard. audio listeners, Yamil has a giant uh, Jackie Chan esque dragon pendant on his chest. Jackie Chan. I'm sorry, Jackie Chan Adventures. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait, wait. No, 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 no. no. That wasn't like a race thing. That was um. It looks like the statue from Jackie Chan Adventures. Whenever like that like dragon dude with with the red eyes would talk. Some people might know what I'm talking about. I don't know. What sorry. You're talking about. Yeah, I don't. I don't know either. But. Yeah, no. You got to remember, bro. Like, I was raised by people who literally got out of the third most poorest town of the whole island in Puerto Rico and got out. The third These one? guys are... The third. No, oh, dude, <laughs> third. Third most poor. Dude, we don't even have uh, running water, really. What was the first one like? Uh, there's probably no electricity, no running water, oh, no shit. AC. Yeah, we okay. didn't even have AC, dude, sometimes. What happened after... Uh, fuck, what was it? Harvey. Like Harvey? Yeah, the are they still, they're still, yeah, are they still recovering? Harvey hit us. Yeah, I know. Are y'all still? No, no it went over Puerto it. Rico. <laughs> Did Maria? it really? <laughs> huh? Hurricane uh, Maria? No, not Maria. Harvey went over. One of the hurricanes in 2017. Harvey went over us. No, like, no, 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 no. But they were hit with a hurricane. Yeah, yeah. no, they were. They were. But yeah, no, they, they were. it was Maria, actually. Yeah, it was Maria. Miss Jamie. But. <laughs> <laughs> that would have made we, so yeah, much sense. We could have been like, Jamie. <laughs> I'm Fact check it, but I'm I know, like, because it, it, yeah, 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 no, no. So, yeah, no, the hurricane uh, that hit Puerto Rico, it, luckily, um, it hit my personal family pretty lightly. Now, like, I had a few, fa- like, uh, two family members that, uh, three technically, had uh, uh, some home damages. So, one, for example, her home is almost completely gone because the roof just literally, like, fucking just opened like a fucking can. Uh, another mm. one had a couple spots open, and then another one where 
you're not gonna fucking believe this, okay? So there's a we have a every, all of our buildings are made out of concrete, okay? So somehow one whole wall was pushed inside. Yes. Wait. Yes. I can understand it being pushed like off or out. No, or down. it was pushed inside. So there was a lot of fucking cracking. There was like the floors were fucked and shit. So my and this was at my grandpa's house and my dad's side. So he had to go ahead and just refill what happened on the outside, take out all the stuff that was damaged, re-cement everything. Boom, done. If the wall's inside, how do you take it out? Like no, it just got door? pushed inside. Like I, I think it was like a couple of feet, or no, no, not a couple of feet, like a few inches. So you see, like a lot of cracking and shit. Oh, you also okay, got to remember, uh, like where my grandpa lives, uh, it's it's like in the side of a mountain. So, yeah, it was it got pushed real bad inside. And then, then uh, my other grandparents' house, they also live in the side of the mountain, but it's the opposite. Their shit's falling down the mountain. Yikes. Yeah. So eventually, like, the whole back half of their house is going to fall down the mountain. Damn. Their house yeah. is moonwalking down the mountain. Oh, Absolutely. yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, every year, every other year that I go back, I'll look at the bathroom because that's where you see it the most. And it just slowly <laughs> goes further away from the house. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nana, where the bathroom at? <laughs> uh, two miles down. Yeah. <laughs> we left that big down the street. <laughs> yeah, every year, it just oh, gets damn. bigger and bigger slowly. Uh, Past couple of years though, Louisiana has been getting fucked by hurricanes, especially oh, this year. Dude, bro, bro, this year they had like what, six, six hurricanes. They got just fucked. Poseidon yeah, was no. like, "Fuck you, dude." No, like Louisiana got hit hard this year by hurricanes. Yeah, hey man, shout out Louisiana. That's where my fam's from. So, hope Katrina. y'all are all right. I They're still trying to recover from Katrina too, weren't they? Katrina, oh, yeah, dude. Katrina was Katrina a mess. really fucked their shit up. Like the hurricane, and then like afterwards too. Mm-hmm. I think the yeah. whole the whole money Ooh. thing. And y'all heard uh, what our government did in Puerto Rico once uh, we got all the relief funds and shit? Was it a nice they thing? Fucking like they pocketed it. Oh, they mm. pocketed it. And you know what else happened? The people of Puerto Rico brought a whole ass guillotine, brought it to the front of the fucking governor's house. <laughs> it was like, yo, either you get out or you get the chop. <laughs> Hey, big dog. Hey, we still remember how to use this. Like, don't, <laughs> we don't, never stopped. Don't think we forgot. This was over. Hey, yo, this, this was worked Juan's in Europe. And shit, <laughs> this is the new uh, fucking 3000 guillotine. <laughs> guillotine 3000. Worked in multiple uh, times in Europe. Used the, with carbon fiber. Bro, the blade is one of them knives from them TV commercials that be cutting bricks in half and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just cut his head in half. Bro, Billy Mays sold this bitch to us. Bro. <laughs> y'all, y'all aren't ready. Bro, Billy Mays. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. R.I.P. Billy Mays, bro. For real. The way that he died was like... An American hero. How did he die? He, uh, yeah. he how, died by how, how luggage hitting his head and his uh, brain swelling, I think. Luggage but, hitting ooh. his head? Yeah. How, wait, hold on. What? He was on a fl- really? He was on a flight, and then like there was like turbulence, and then one of the cabins on top uh, wasn't closed all the way, so it opened, and a luggage uh, hit his that head. That is just god. And he got a he got a concussion from it. I think. I think. Don't quote me on this. He got a concussion, and then it ended Damn up just coming from like brain swelling. Where's yeah. Jamie? R. I. P. Man. So he could have lived a good life. You know, That's from like, if this is true, right? That straight up God was like, ah, you know. You're you're dead now. That's just yeah. That's some final destination. Oh, for shit. sure. Like luggage out of everything kills you. Luggage. Like, not even the bleach uh, another, products that he used. One of one of my other biggest fears is dying like a bitch. Like just some <laughs> random shit just <laughs> killed me, and I'm like, Bro, what? You heard what happened to your mill? That nigga got kicked by a horse. <laughs> I don't even in the know middle how of happened. Houston, no one knows where the horse came from. It All we know is down. that there was like a horseshoe-shaped hole in his head, and that's it. R.I.P. Your milk. <laughs> so, what would you define as dying like a bitch? Like, honestly, like that. Oh, I luggage hit me in the head, and I died. Or like, um, for example, I slipped and fell, and I died. Like, wait, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a that's a big margin of deaths, though. <laughs> yeah, <That's, laughs> a lot of people it, slip and die, bro. Well, like, that's, old it's people, not that of, hard. Like I've slipped and fell, people. and, and I was dead? like two, huh? You, st- you died? I mean, no, but like if there was like a <laughs> chunk of concrete or some shit next to me, that that could have been KO. I could have been eighty sixth. Nah. See, I mean, for me, that's like dying like a bitch. Now like, you also got to remember. I also want to, if if I'm gonna die young, I want the warriors way out. I, I want to either get shot. Blown up, some shit, like 
I'd rather, if I'm dying young, okay, I'm going to die a boy <laughs> with death. All right. For the audio listeners, he's looking at God right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, but he's laying out his terms. <laughs> <laughs> preferably, though, I die like, at like 95 or 97, you know, pass away in my sleep. That's preferable. No, 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 no. 95, 97, still going out the warrior's way. <laughs> <laughs> he's on the he's battlefield so with a he's cane. Still, yeah. <laughs> Gatling gun cane. Now, I'm just going to kamikaze my aircraft oh. into like whatever enemy nation it is at the mm. time. My goodness. Um... I mean, I know how, how I want to die. How do you want to die, Frank? Man, I, it, it's a little bit like your Mills thing, but less aggressive. I want to live to, like, be really old, but then I'm going to start just, like, moving and shaking real hard politically because I want to be politically assassinated. Oh, Ooh. that's an achievement Bro, right there. Yes, that's like the, I shook the boat. Go. I oh, rocked yeah. the boat. I mean, so hard that they were like, All people, right, people that's remember yeah, assassinated. Yeah, kill you. yeah, people remember remember like, assassinated political figures more. Hey, than yo, high key though. What's the biggest badge of honor for journalists? For journalists, mm-hmm. writing a good paper. Nope, getting killed by the CIA. Oh, exactly. Would you say Snowden would be a good journalist? Well, he's still alive. Well, I mean, yeah, but and also he's, he's mm. Snowden. Well, Snowden did work. In the inside, originally, he wasn't a journalist at first. You he know just what I mean? Bad journalist. He just let information out. Yeah. What yeah. do you? But what's your take on Snowden? Would you say that? So okay. Because like it's like a weird subject. Like all right. So um, I don't know what Snowden United States is. government. And we're and we're Snowden movie with uh Chris Evans and and the train. Yeah. Is no. it? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> That's Snowpiercer. <laughs> oh or no. shit! That's Snowpiercer. No, you're right. Yeah, you're no, right. right. Snowpiercer. Yeah. I don't know how you. Edward Snowden that. is um. He's the, uh, the 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 CIA agent. Uh, the guy that leaked the stuff that the NSA was looking at you. Yeah. Hearing all your shit, looking at all your nudes. The NSA is looking at my nudes. Absolutely, bro. They were trading. It's not that. Like it's no, 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 no. Do they like them? Well, Big Milk loves them. Oh nah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. You know what? I don't like that. I don't like how you said that. Hey man, hey. <laughs> Hey, did you hear that Big Milk likes your new? Hey, who the fuck is Big Milk, bro? <laughs> Tell that man stay away from me. <laughs> that sounds like the softest street name ever. <laughs> Yo, my name is Big Milk. Hey, watch out for that boy Big Milk. You know, he be wearing them big ass shoes and shit and drinking Yoohoo. <laughs> Some chocolate drink. Can't yeah, rock chocolate with that boy. flavored drink. <laughs> Not even milk. chocolate milk. Oh, oh boy. Nah. No. That's a pasty white rapper. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what what is uh, something you really want to do when you're old? Like, get I away with stuff? Get, like, sh- shoplifting? Do you know what I want to do? Be I racist. Wa- <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't get away with that when you're old. I, I, I disagree. I'll cuss out an old lady. I mean, same, but, like, what else is going to happen? Damn, Nothing. you got me there. I, will <laughs> I, will, I mean, depending on what's said, like, I won't just beat up an old lady ass for being racist. Yeah, Damn. and I no, no real legal life. problems gonna happen at all. But what I want to do with uh, being old, right, is eventually I want to go to the superstore just in my underwears. And what are you gonna say? <laughs> I'm an old leave. ass dude. <laughs> Bro, leave. <laughs> I'm just walk in, just sir, start buying shit. Sir, please stop. Can you I'm, please? Leave? I'm, I'm just looking. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm just trying to buy my sir, mangoes. Sir, please. We sell pants. Like it's not that hard to find some pants. Where's the mangoes? There is a wandering old man in his trousers. <laughs> I'm walking around in aisle four. Please escort him out. Asking. Hey, for he mangoes. wearing them hoes though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for me, yeah, I think I just stick with like regular shoplifting and acting like so I'm not Mac's doing anything. Be wrong. A con- All right, okay. dude, I I would want to like I'd want to like just give bullshit advice. Like it wouldn't mean anything. I'd be is like, it like hey, the whole gen- hey, young buck. Hey, come over here and let me tell you something. Is now, it listen. like your whole gen- janitor idea? Yeah, exactly. It's my <laughs> janitor idea. But okay, so yeah, so basically they're both kind of the same thing. I just want to give. Just absolute bullshit advice and just hope that it connects with someone. Like, I'll be like, hey, young but hey, come over here. Now, listen. Now, don't ever put two apples next to each other, all right? Because you know what happens. <laughs> and they'll be like, what happens? And I'll be like, shit. Static electricity. You'll find out. <laughs> just awesome. Like, just it, it makes no sense, but I'm old, so he has to take it as wisdom. And I'm a oh I'm a lie too. I'm a lie my ass. <laughs> like what? I just I just thought about it. Like my grandkids would be like, uh uh grandpappy, what happened during COVID? I was like, man, I was uh, I, I, was, I was in the trenches. I was I was in the trenches of COVID, bro. Me and my young demons was out there 
just swinging on COVID. COVID was a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. COVID was about 16 dudes, and I only had like three dudes, <laughs> and, and I was swinging on COVID with masks on. And they're like, wow, Grandpappy, that's crazy. I'd be like, yeah, yeah. D and his two bo- homies took down COVID entirely. Oh, exactly. Yeah. That's what my oh, grandkids yeah. will think until they get yeah. to school and find out I'm full of shit. But by that point, I'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> Stupid ass Grim, kid. Happy the mad lad. <laughs> oh, no. You know, okay, last thing about being old. I've had this idea for a long time. When I, I want to get old, and if, unfortunately, I don't get assassinated by some type of shadow or organization, I want to leave a treasure map to my hidden fortunes. That's just not real. Ah, like, it's going to be Bobby so, Chase. it's going to be so many steps. And I'm gonna plan it so intricately, and then by the See, end, you it's just started, gonna be like a picture of me. Should have started about like, like ten years ago. Grandpappy loves you, and that's it. And then you're like, Dude, <laughs> no, no, buy yourself, a, of, buy yourself a pack of uh, pack of gum, and no, it's a no, dollar. No. <laughs> that's what the real treasure. He's gonna be like the real treasure was the journey, <laughs> <laughs> the friends you made along the, the way. Friends you made along the way. God damn it, Grandpappy, we spent just, five thousand no, dollars. Did you just? Did you just put him on a in real life D and D campaign? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly. That's good. I'm gonna like hire actors to like chase them and shit Bro. in like that, in like black. Sedans. Like every ten years, you have to g- do a casting call for new no, characters. Yeah, Pat. Hey, look. By the end, I'll be like, I'll leave a note that says, "Honestly, y'all could have inherited a lot of money, but I spent way too much on all this bullshit. <laughs> so I hope y'all had fun." <laughs> Damn it, Grandpa, we lost three people. <laughs> <laughs> my and friend then, Jeff is dead. And, <laughs> And then Grandpappy from the other side, that's not my problem. Yeah, I don't, I don't really give a fuck. Hey, you should have never put them two apples right next to each other, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> what did I tell you about the two apples? <laughs> I told you. Right? Now you lost <laughs> Jeff. That's hilarious. Yeah. I also had another thing that I wanted to bring up, actually. I, so you know how, like, whenever you say, wait, where's my phone at? Throw my phone over there. You know how, like, whenever you say, hey, Siri, your phone pops up <clears throat> and, like, and, like, starts talking? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to make a song called hey siri <laughs> so that if you play it in the car everyone's phones just start acting up <laughs> yeah. it's like it's just like two second song yeah no. <laughs> it's like it's like 30 seconds and the whole time the song keeps stopping because your phone's like what what's up i'm siri what, what do you need <laughs> no god damn it no siri oh it's gonna be great or like uh, evil for android saying calling hey google or hey cortana no ah, yeah, yeah, no. android don't get no love that, that's not love. That means it just Google gets safe. love though because we on Google Podcast. Hey, shout out Google Podcast, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we love you now, man. Google some scary shit though, man. That's like a, I was I looking agree. at like this meme. It was a meme, so you know it couldn't have like really been fact because it was a meme. But it was like that whole glacier thing where it's like just the tip of the glacier, and that's what you can see. And I was just like, oh, that's like that's like what everybody looks up, but like yeah. the bottom of the glacier. Was like Page all that two. shit that nobody knows about. Page two. Page two. Page no, two. <laughs> what, what is on page 67? <laughs> I feel like if Bro, you, that's if where you, you look the dark up anything, web. like you just look up, hey, um, uh, how, how, old, how old do llamas get or some shit like that. If you go to like page 55, it's porn by that point. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't even know what it would be like, and it's not worth thinking about. But like, hey, Honestly, I feel like there. that's where like all the people try to scam your shit are over there. Uh, you want to know how old llamas get? Give me your credit give card. Me, yeah, give me your credit <laughs> card. That's, that's two I'll Bitcoin. give you all the answers you want. <laughs> two Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, remember when, like, Bitcoin was like, oh, don't don't get Bitcoin. But now it's just like, hey, make sure you invest bro, in Bitcoin. Like, what 11, happened? 11,000. I still don't get I don't Bitcoin. understand it, but it's – I don't want to fuck with it. Bro. I saw something on Twitter about this guy who spent, like, 22 Bitcoin back in the jump on, like, a piece of pizza. Or like no 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 he bought like a Domino's pizza with like with like sixteen bitcoins at like I guess like the lowest it was could have been fake I don't know Jamie's not here but <laughs> like <laughs> it was just him and his kids posted up with his pizza and someone was like this is the biggest L humanity has ever seen. <laughs> what do you Damn. think? Do y'all think cryptocurrency will make a make a? I, I think so. No, make a difference. Uh, so it needs to be easier because I still don't get it. Yeah, like, you have to go into the deep web and then you got to get into the dark web to. Get, no, no, you got to get into the dark no, web to no, go into the deep no, web. You don't need to go no, that Bitcoin's far. like a like I seen a it's Bitcoin machine one available. time at a shitty gas station, so it's it's out there just that shit. But to get the ones that matter, there are different kinds of Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. Shit coin. Oh my God, guys! Bitcoin. Bitcoin's at seventeen thousand dollars right now. A singular Bitcoin. That means nothing to me. God. No, like uh, for example, my boss is actually. I think uh, crypto is going to be the the way to go in the future, because um, 
my boss right now is uh, investing in this thing called Tron. So there's uh, Tron, nah, Dogecoin. Nah, I don't fuck with Tron. Oh, dude. we're going into Tron. <laughs> yeah, I don't we're going fuck with Tron. Tron. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> apparently, did, apparently it's pretty <laughs> servicing right now because it's like a couple of cents right now. But there's so many people backing it that it doesn't look like it's. Is gonna Jeff Bridges flop. backing it? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not investing in it yet because no, I'm still no. iffy about it. No. Is he backing the red or the blue team? <laughs> oh, he's definitely backing the blue team. Of course, of course. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> What's the, uh, <laughs> what does the currency look like online? Is it a little disc? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a disc with a T. Oh, look, my money went up. And it's just like a little bar with a little motorcycle at the end. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and then Dogecoin is also coming. Dogecoin? What? Yeah. <laughs> Dogecat? Dogecat specific. No, uh, no Dogecoin. Huh? Dogecoin. Real fucking thing. Do- German coin? Doge. Like the meme, the Doge. Oh, my God. Doge yeah. cat coin. Eat that juicy, juicy coin. It started as a meme, and now it's a fucking thing. It's a real thing. I now. feel like half the things these days. Elon Musk is back in it. Yeah, but Elon Musk is kind of crazy. He's a meme lord. Elon Musk. He's a billion he's kinda, dollar he's meme cuckoo. lord. I don't know much about Elon Musk, but he gives me uh, the bad guy from a 007 movie vibes. Yeah. Like, he'd really? have, like, he would hang somebody over a tank full of sharks. He's like, what do you mean you don't want to go to Mars? Hang him. <laughs> Put him. Nah, I don't get, get that Get the at guillotine all. 3000. Get the sharks ready. I see him, I see him as just a billion, <laughs> like a billionaire that's just a meme lord. Like, that's he why does. I d- it is obvious that he does like have his appreciation for memes. Of course, he laughed at a fucking dead deer. Dead deer in the water. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he hosted meme review. And then he laughed at a he picture of a dead deer in the water. So PewDiePie, he has this uh, show on his channel called Meme Review, where he just looks at memes on Reddit. Oh no! Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I yeah. And he host uh, Elon Musk hosted it one uh, one episode, and the, his assistant or manager, or whatever, whatever, the, whoever the fuck he was, he was like, "Oh my god, these are dark." But Elon Musk is just fucking dying. dying. His Jamie. Everyone has a Jamie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go, gr- ladies, go find yourself a Jamie. You find a Jamie, you'll be happy for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You'll then never be wrong. Unless you're gay, you're fucked. What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I said for men, unless you're gay, you're fucked. You can men can also Jamie. find a Jamie. But yeah. Be your friend. Jamie is a mindset. Jamie is also could hypothetically be a girl's name or a that guy's too. name or they them's name. It There's be, more of them? Jamie is it? Oh, my God. <laughs> you got to tell, tell that story. Oh, my God. Okay, so here's the story, right? Also, <laughs> shout out the LGBTQ community. Shout out everybody. So, listen, I was I was at work, and we have this coworker. I'm not going to name drop him, but he's this guy. He's just a dude, right? Whatever. <laughs> and we had this cook, and they had, like, a hat on, but they had, like, this, like, long, spiky hair coming out. And me and the guy were talking, and I was, and I was like, oh, yeah, the— the new cook seems like she's nice. And he's like, she, I thought it was a dude. And I was like, but he kept calling them an it. So I was like, oh, no, 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 Bernardo, listen, listen, listen. You can't call them an it. If they, they prefer they, them. And he said, they, <laughs> there's more of them. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he, he was, he was just so out of the loop of Yo. this whole like <laughs> current uh, thing with the LGBT he also, community. He also pitched me Queer Eye. <laughs> As if it was his idea because he had never heard of Queer Eye. I actually never he was heard like, of this like, man, bro. Wait, you've never heard of Queer Wait, Eye? Wait, you never no. heard of Queer Eye? Dude, Dude, Queer Eye is great. It's like the best show ever. The original show was you also just as remember, Never guys. seen the original show. Like, we get called? it. You're super straight. I'm a pilot. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> I'm in the you air gotta too remember, much to like, watch where, TV. Where, where, where most of my people are. Like, they're gym dudes. They're dudes. Yeah, but you've been in Houston, Texas for like what, bro, 13 years? Bro, was also you built. can literally I think so like, Jonathan. immerse yourself no, in whatever Anthony culture you want. Is also built. You gotta remember, you can immerse yourself in whatever culture you want here in Houston. There's areas that only speak fucking Arabic and they're chilling. Areas that speak only fucking Mandarin I love, I love those and areas. they're chilling. Those areas so, are also cool. I'm in the area where there's a whole bunch of fucking testosterone filled dudes trying to fucking either fuck shit up or just fuck. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> hey man, anybody can fuck anything. Even it's very it's very weird that we meet like gay dudes or like we we have a couple of trans people in our gym. They're pretty chill, but uh, it's very rare, very rare. Interesting. Hmm. Wait, what was I saying? Uh, you're saying how he thought he he oh, thought yeah, queer yeah, eye yeah. was his idea. Oh yeah, so he was like he was like oh yeah man hey, you know oh he was saying like how there was these uh, gay people at his table and one of them like their card declined. And he was, I was so surprised, bro, because like gay people all, always got their shit together, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, like. Honestly, they should be like helping other people get their shit together. And I was like, 
hey, man, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's a thing. You know, that's a thing, right? He was like, what? I was like, dude, yeah, that, that's a show where five gay dudes just bust up in your house and make you better. <coughs> and he just, he seemed very disappointed that it wasn't his idea. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a great show, though. It is a great show. A I, think, I actually genuinely think my mom watches that show. Your mom looks like your mom seems like the type of person yeah. that watch queer. Because I remember, I remember I've seen like, no, your something. mom seems like she would be standoff of it at, at first, simply because you grew up religious. But then, yeah, like, my, she'd my, be fam- like, my family are my yeah, all my family is super traditional. In fact, uh, uh, my family over here in Texas, they're actually really chill about the whole thing. Obviously, though, if I became gay, <laughs> my ass is getting murdered. I the whole thing. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> they're really chill about that whole. That all, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, over there in Puerto Rico, it's still, still. Oh yeah, no, my, my it's a Catholic m- island, right? Yeah, the the last, the only, the I feel like the island. only gay guy, <laughs> the Catholic island. Yeah, I feel like the only gay person that can live in Puerto Rico, and everyone's like, oh yeah, like he's the shit, right? Is Ricky Martin? Because the last time, hey, some, my boy Ricky be killing bro, this shit, dude. Sick. But the last time there was like a gay, like a uh, a gay, um, a gay celebrity, he was a reggaeton artist. And he was being super, f- like, he posted, like, this video of him, like, twerking his ass. Bro, yes, he was shot the next day. Wait, Ooh. what? Yes. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> he was shot and killed basically, like, the next day or, like, that following week because of that video. Because <laughs> they were like, oh, this guy's, like, that gay? Fuck that guy. Oh, so my God. So they just Is fucking it, clapped him. Wait, wasn't there, like, something about a couple, like, earlier this year about, like, Bad Bunny trying to like break that down. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Bad Bunny's trying, but at hey, the same man. time, hey, some shout people, out Bad Bunny, man. Yeah, he's fighting the good fight. He in Instagram, he released a that like one a little, song. Yeah, a little promo and a whole music video of him like trans people. Actually, people were really scared it, for him at first. Yeah, no, it was yeah, him no. in a wig and a dress. <laughs> Just because of what happened previously with mm-hmm. the other dude, bro. Hashtag so. protect Bad Bunny, bro. Yeah, no, Bad Bunny's fucking great, man. And not only that. He'd be fine because I'm pretty. Sh- he'll just he'll just come to America then. See, oh yeah. In either way, no. Like the island loves Bad Bunny, by mm-hmm. the way, because like everyone knows he's straight, but everyone's just really shaking a little bit that like he did that like, shit. How can you? They were this? like, they were like, wait a minute, hold on a minute. Did he just turn trans? <coughs> what? Did did our dude, our, our, our dude. boy, <laughs> our boy? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> now, now what? Yeah, no, now that was pretty what? funny. You but heard yeah, about nice. the last guy. It, it's it's <laughs> a slow. Progression, but I mean, they're slowly. They'll get, they'll get there. Opening. Yeah, you also got to remember, there's a lot of like hillbilly Puerto Ricans over there. So what is a hillbilly Puerto Rican? My family. That sounds <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> it's like imagine the hillbillies here, but Latin, and boom, there you go. They play salsa all the so time. Sort tios. <laughs> just <tios>. essentially, <laughs> but just let loose. Their curved, yeah, or tios. <laughs> their curved up boots are even just a little bit more curved up. Ah, that's the see, whole we thing. don't over there. They don't wear curved up boots. That's that's more of a Tejano thing. Yeah. Uh, my, oh my my fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oops. No, yeah. Mm. Oh oh okay. I didn't tell you though. So my okay. So my family and my mom's side right have this like group chat where like because my family over there is like super. Is tight. it on WhatsApp? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> of I course just, it is. I was just curious because they all are. I was yes. Just, yeah. Thank you, sir. So. Uh, my, I have this uncle named Theo Boyd, right? So, by the way, hilarious dude. So every time, like, I take a picture of myself flying or in an aircraft, this man somehow will get himself in an airplane and snap a photo of me like, you're not hot shit. Get out of here. And I'll be like, uh, come on. He's always got to one-up you. Mans will be at the bank. <laughs> get the picture. Leave his money at the bank. I got to get to the airport right now. <laughs> the young buck thinks he's doing something. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, oh, you think you're so cool? <laughs> I'm in an airplane, too. No, the funniest one that happened was I took a photo of uh, – it was a selfie. It was me and my instructor pilot, right? And it was like a selfie photo. It was me and him, okay? And we were in the cockpit, and then, like, no more than, like, 20 minutes later, he's in an airplane museum, snapped a photo of him in a cockpit of, like, this uh, airliner. I was like, yeah, I'm hot shit, too. Like, get out of here. <laughs> Yo, not. <laughs> I feel like your uncle has that thing from uh from the he second Dallas, Christopher Nolan Batman movie, <laughs> like like the skyhook thing that just yanks him into the sky <laughs> to a plane. <laughs> he hits a button, yeah, no, and no. he's like, "Nah, I've been in a plane for about twenty minutes, young buck. You don't know nothing about it." Exactly. This. No, no. Every time you try to shine, he's like, "Ah, I get out shine." Nah, nah. Yo, any picture you send, oh, I just made this meal. I'm with Gordon Ramsay right now <laughs> making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches <laughs> with your broke ass. What do you mean? Is that oh. ramen noodle? Oh, Get oh, 
oh Theo, look, I just I just drew this picture. Nigga, I'm chilling with the Mona Lisa right now. We over here drinking <laughs> beers and shit. Who you think you are, bro? Get out of my face. So you, you were like, hey Theo, I just graduated from college. Bitch, I graduated from fucking Harvard. <laughs> Bitch, I'm the dean. I just wrote your shit. <laughs> You're not special. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Oh shit. <laughs> No, I love it though. Every time I snap a photo, he's just always like somehow in an airplane, and I'm like, "Where, where? You know, you're supposed to be in the third most poorest uh, town in the whole island. Oh, yeah. Where, where do we? Where, how are you doing this? What money uh, do you have that yes. you're not helping us out? All of it. He's using all the money. <laughs> he that, has all that's the Puerto why Rico's that town money. is is the third poorest. <laughs> 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 he keeps using it to get goddamn play. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, he's great though. He's great. Fucking love him. You know, actually, when he was over here in Texas, um, obviously, since because it is so poor over there and everyone there is like super street, right? Right. He he legit looks like a straight up gangster. If you just look at him, you're like, oh fuck, like this dude's gonna rob me type deal. But in fact, he's a fucking teddy bear. Okay. So, but we had him over one time in Texas, and I used to live in a the high end neighborhood. The you remember that? Uh, oh, oh do you remember? Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a more high middle class region. It's a gated community. Bro, oh. tell me why this Flex. man. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you couldn't just let with that. Like, oh, it's a gated no, no, community. No, 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 no. I have to, I have to like get the setting. Cause yeah, you could just say gated community, and that would be perfectly Ga- fine. Bro, there's so many gated communities that doesn't mean that like it's okay. no, see, whatever, listen, whatever. No, no, whatever. Max, listen, listen, listen. There are gated communities, and then there are gated communities named after trees. <laughs> exactly. Those are fucking mwah, top tier. All right, but anyway, anyway, okay. My Spruce my uncle states. decides to go. My <laughs> uncle loves running, right? <laughs> So he'll go out and run, and every single time he goes running outside, the cops will get called every time. And he has to walk the cops to our house and be like, see, I live here in the most broken English possible. And then we have to go outside and be like, yeah, that's my uncle. Yeah, he's good. And it no, got to the no, point. No, but I also went, like, that where you lived, it was, a, like, it was a nice neighborhood. Yeah. But there was still a drive-by. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh yeah! No, no, no! It wasn't. No, no, no! It wasn't a drive-by. It was a shooting between a shootout between the cops and a homeowner that took his whoa, family hostage. Whoa! Wait, it was a shootout. It was a shootout. Wait, 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 bro, wait, Really quick, really quick, okay. about your uncle getting <laughs> getting brought in by the cops. I feel like that's why he kept going out. Like that was half the workout was running from the cops. <laughs> like, like the warm up was like the regular running, and then he heard the whoop whoop, and he's like, "All right, it's time to get to the sprints." See, baby. My uncle is also a mad lad because the first time he came to the U.S. when we were in Florida, I, I remember this vividly because this is when I was like, "Oh, so you're just a crazy motherfucker." Because <clears throat> um, we went to Orlando, we were going out, and it was this. Uh, you guys are gonna start laughing, especially you, D. This is this black mm-hmm. guy that was gonna take our luggage, right? And then in I the car, he was like, ah. Is it because he was black? Is, no, no, no. You're going to get it soon. Funny. You're going to get oh, it soon. Okay. And he was like, I'm going to say, what's up? You know, the N-word, right? Oh, yeah. No. yeah. And your, so he was what, saying that in the that? car. Yeah, yeah. He was saying that in the car that he was going to say it, right? He was like, yeah, I'm going to say that. And my and my family was like, don't you fucking don't you, oh dare. God. And then guess what he did? He steps out the car, says it like, hey, what's up? And you know what? This man fucking shook his head and everything like they were best fucking friends. And everyone was like, oh. So I it worked see. out? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> that poor Miami or Florida airport dude was probably like, Ugh. Again. Yeah. <laughs> Again. I don't even. Like, the dude's I, a man. I like man. this job. I'm not trying to lose it over this. <laughs> yeah. But, no, like, it was hilarious because they just acted like they were best friends. I don't know how the black dude took it, but, like, after that, it, it was a great time. He took Fox our stuff They in. actually knew each other. Oh, hey, bro, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Shit, my uncle be spending all this money. <laughs> no, he, he's been flying a lot. <laughs> exactly, bro. He has oh, Puerto Rico's money. He has he's all been flying Rico's money. a lot. He probably knows that dude. Yeah, Shit. probably. Shit, man. Dude, speaking of like like relatives all knowing people, when I was younger, I used because I grew up in the valley, just like Max. I grew up in Brownsville. Well, I didn't grow up in the valley. Okay, well, fuck me. I'm sorry. <laughs> my family grew up so, in the valley. I grew up in the valley. So my grandma, like Brownsville, is not that big. Like mm-hmm. I think they just got like a Baskin Robbins or some shit. So like they're they got they they've, they've had a, they've up. had two canes and they were across the one one on one side of the highway the one on the other. Got to get that chicken. <laughs> wait wait what does Kane say? Canes raising canes? No no no. no, no, no. Whenever no. you pull up to the drive with it like they're like oh, oh fuck they always no. say some crazy yeah, shit they... like like Bick and Bick and want some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit like that. No yeah they do say some crazy. Anyway. Shit. As a child, I was fully and totally just knowing that my grandma knew every single person in Brownsville because she would always and like I I was a real sm- I wasn't a small kid but like when I was small, 
she would just pick me up and she would just show me at people. She'd be like, look, look, my grandson, my grandson. So that like, you know, 10, 10 years later, she'd be like, hey, look, this is my grandson. Now you remember him? Now he's a fucking six. There may be a behemoth. chance that my I grandmother think that, might have been, I think, no, been no, no, friends. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure that's just a Hispanic thing. That no, happened yeah. no, that no, 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 no. That isn't a Hispanic <laughs> thing. Hispanic grandmas put you on a stick and oh, just walk yeah. around going, look. Es mi hijo. <laughs> es mi hijo. Es mi hijo. Mira, mi hija. Here he is. See, here's the thing. My grandmother wasn't like that. She, she just knew everyone. She doesn't, no one knows how she knew everyone, but she knew everyone. She knew everyone, all the, the, the juicy secrets, all the gossip in Brownsville, in, uh, in Little Mexico there. <laughs> Man. Little Mexico. My family oh, has yeah. like a low-key little lock on the, on the uh, town of Arjuntas because – my grandpa from my dad's side basically built almost built a lot of people's homes in there. Built the only restaurant there, and also built the uh, the uh, a gas station there as well. My grandpa owns the only mechanic shop in that town, right? And also Plug dabbles in, in the in the underground business of the small town. Yo, was he built part of the mafia? Well, let's just say that I every time I go over there, right, everyone I'm gives me shit. Nothing. Okay. Like, every time I walk past a bar, I swear to God, every time I walk past a bar, they'd be like, Oi, tu eres el hijo de Pepe, or de nieto. So I'll be like, uh, Ah, yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> uh, so he, okay, Pepe, so English, I know that name. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's my grandpa's nickname. So I'll go over there and be like, yeah. And sometimes I don't even understand how they, like, recognize me, because I've never meet these people in my life, okay? Of course. And they'll just be like, come here. And they'll They're just like, give hey, me fucking here, rum. Give, give this to your grandpa. Please, oh, yeah, just give it to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Tell him I said hi. Tell him it's from so Enrique. We, we, <laughs> so we have this illegal moonshine. Tell him to give my daughter back. Ah. <laughs> yeah, we have this illegal moonshine called Pitorro. So and good. And my grandpa was like a really big contributing factor to like helping, you know, build it up. And so every time I walk past a bar, they give me the Pitorro. And then I'll go up, give it to my grandpa, tell him, oh, hey, the, the bar down there gave it uh, to me. And he'd be like, oh. Okay, and see. then he'll immediately just start pouring it into his coffee. <laughs> yeah, my grandpa's also a stupid heavy alcoholic and smoker. Have you hey, did? Were you, you like were you with us when uh, you both brought some pitoro? I did try that. Oh, absolute and they smell poison. The shit. What? That is yeah. Then they that smell stuff the shit is too. poison. I've had that. That was scary so stuff. It's it was some good shit. The night started so out good. great. You well, was like, oh, I got this stuff wait, from wait, the wait, motherland. Wait. No, no. There was the pitorro, and then there was the raquilla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I blacked out. Yeah, it was nice. You know, we were like, "Oh, hey, cheers! We're all gonna drink." You and had it half was the like, bottle. Uh, weird. Yes. Um, oh, for the audience, real stuff. quick. Uh, and, then, we, and then Emil passed out. Yeah. Shirtless. So real quick though, for the audience. So I brought, or I somehow magically got a bottle of pitorro right. into the house. <laughs> okay, as well as a bottle of raquilla, which is. Basically, like, from what I can remember, um, the Bulgarian version of, like, moonshine or, like, super hard liquor. So I brought it over <laughs> so we can all drink it. Um, we were already, like, a couple drinks in with Smirnoffs, and then we decided to take the shots. It didn't hit us immediately. It didn't hit me immediately, right? So I went ahead and just continued taking, like, four or five more <laughs> shots of Rakia because I was like, ah, this is, this is shit. He's all this and is water. And then... And then I don't out remember of a thing. <laughs> out of nowhere, everything changed. You went from just like, oh, you're vibing with everyone to immediately wanting to fight everyone. In the I room. saw something click in his eyes, and the Puerto Rican madness started. That's what I call it. <laughs> you pulled out your karambit. He pulled out. I pulled knife. out my karambit? You pulled out your karambit. Oh, and, you, and, you, and you put it back, and I was just like, no. hey, give me, give me no. your knife. Guys, listen. We were all sitting at this table, and somebody said something oh about God. like, somebody <laughs> said something. I don't remember what it was. But all of a sudden, the next thing I see is Yamil slam his knife on the table and say, who wants to die? So. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> what are we pointing at? Is it still recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> the lights went out when I hit the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I damage everything. I thought I smacked the podcast out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> this never happened. None oh, of this. Man. We were never here. <laughs> <laughs> Max's whole laptop just just disintegrates. <laughs> That's That's funny. Funny. Fucking Thanos snap. My bad, guys. How many shots did you take? Uh, honestly, enough to feel nice, but also enough to try to keep the peace because uh, Jamie was. Just Jamie was really he feeling... was just he was just wildly dancing. You were threatening <laughs> everybody, and me and Max were just trying to play like a, a, a 
card game or some shit. Yeah, it's probably, I got like, I I got I got stuck parenting everyone else, and D got stuck parenting you. Know? Oh yeah, and then I cradled Yamil <laughs> back to health in my arms. <laughs> not not true at all. The last the, the only true. The, the no, only last you, thing you that I can there, big bro, dog. bro. The Puerto Rican madness <laughs> was there. The <laughs> only thing I can remember was you. Come trying to convince me with your absolute hardest to keep throwing up on the toy. For some reason, it's the only other memory I have of that night. I, Just oh yeah, so man. yeah, so Throw obviously up. for people who have listened, Yamil works in a gym. So my thought process was because I was also drunk. My thought process was all right. I'm gonna tell Yamil that throwing all the alcohol up is like an ab workout. And the look on his face when I said that, well, he was like, oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I see now. <laughs> that was the only thing that got through members. to him. <laughs> uh, ever since that day, I started telling all the members, "Hey, have y'all ever tried to throw up to work your abs?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll get you there. It'll get you there, but I don't advise it. <laughs> no. Anyway, um, whatever works. Yeah, we we uh, it's been a good uh good episode, I say. We can end it here, but real quick. Obviously, there has been an improvement in sound quality. Yes, sir. Uh, Hi, you can hear me now. I'm not whispering. It's me, D'Angelo. It's no longer the Max and fucking Yamil podcast. <laughs> With Jamie and D. <laughs> With me and Jamie whispering in the back to ourselves like gossipy hens. So I'm excited to see, now that we've got a couple episodes in and we've told a decent amount of people, I'm excited to see where this show goes. Absolutely. Give us your feedback on how to improve the show. And if y'all want us to talk about certain subjects, I mean, shit. Throw it in the comments if we can do it. Don't be too fucking crazy about that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Please. I don't want to hear Let's some, go crazy. Of, some of these things. All right. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Have a great night. Yeah.